say that you have gone through your house and you know the cabinets that you need. Um, say that you want a base 21, now uh, I mean base 24. Uh, base cabinets, uh, let me quickly show you what that's talking about. So um, a base cabinet would look like this. Okay, so uh, the 21 is talking about the width. So this width right here, 21 inches right here. Okay, and then uh, where you see the other thing, uh, 24, excuse me. So where you see, for example, you know, you can have a 12 inch width, 15 inch width, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Now you just saw how long it took to populate uh, and it's still trying to populate everything else here. It just takes Excel a while to <laughs> run these calculations so it just you know takes a few minutes it's it's doing a lot of calculations here so say that you have done the you know how many base 20 with 24 inch wide cabinets you need you need say you know six of those all right so you just plug that in and it's gonna you know tell you okay now if you only need a one uh, let me plug in one now if you just need a one it would basically say okay here's all your cut list for just one cabinet right but so just to let you know what it's doing so you hit six and it'll multiply all these numbers by six basically and then like uh if you say okay um i'm done with my base cabinets you know you can select whatever ones you need but say okay um i need a, a base cabinet with no drawers you can select that and uh, you could select uh say like a sink base um let me run through uh, quickly mm, all these different types so sink sink base uh, vanity base uh, vanity base with no drawers vanity, vanity base with drawers let me actually let you see what these look like I put a, a little illustration together so you can kind of visualize this so you've got base cabinets you've got base cabinets with drawers you've got base cabinets uh, uh, excuse me this was no drawers you've got base cabinets with drawers You've got uh, sink base cabinets, so these are blanks right here, basically. Uh, you've got vanity base cabinets, which are here. You've got vanity base cabinets with the drawers. You've got vanity base cabinets with drawers. You've got vanity base sink uh, base cabinets, and now all these are come pre-built in into the spreadsheet. And I'll put a link to the spreadsheet in the in the description there. <clears throat> you got blonde corner base cabinets, which means these are like blanks right here. You got blonde uh, corner base cabinets with no drawers. You got Lazy Susans, wall cabinets, wall cabinets with a blonde corner. You got pantry cabinets. You got dressers and nightstands and desk and file cabinets and entertainment systems and bookcases. These are just different heights. And then you can basically see it's that you can select all those, right? And so where you see base 12, 12 again, that's talking about the width. So 15 width. The, the height is, is pretty standard on these. So these this heights on these don't change. And then uh, you can customize it if you want. You can customize all these actually if you want. I'll show you in a second. And then you got base with no drawers. You got base, base with drawers like we went through. Sink base, vanity base. Uh, with all the different widths here, you can see 15, 18, 24, 27. They're, they're all pre-built. Okay, all the d dimensions and the cut list are all pre-built for those, right? Um, you've got vanity base with no drawers. You got vanity base with drawers. You got blind corner base, no drawers. You got lazy Susan wall uh, cabinets that are 24 inch in height by 24 inch in width and 27 width and 30 width and then you've got 30 inch in height uh, wall cabinets and you got these widths 12 15 18 24 27 30 uh, you got a uh, wall corner custom you got uh, custom basically whenever you see custom like this basically what it means is I what I have in here is some very standard dimensions for for some some um, uh, different cabinets here so for example I got a 30 inch in height a wall cabinet with 18 width 21 24 27 30 now this one is just kind of here if you want to throw in like some kind of custom uh, uh, cabinet for whatever reason you can put that there okay it's like a placeholder where you can put it in. okay you've got uh, uh, blind corners for the wall cabinet you got pantries here you've got dresser oh, let me select some of these so you got a dresser uh, with a 30 inch uh, width here um, you have mm, let me say maybe like an entertainment system with a 30 inch let me throw in um some bookcases let's say some 84 inch tall bookcases and let's throw in like uh maybe some a vanity base 36 inch wide maybe um let me see like maybe a pantry 
uh, 24 inch in depth, about 27 wide, let's say. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll just, I want to let you see that it takes a little while actually for Excel to kind of run the calculations for this and to update this list. So you can see that we selected these, um, you know, several seconds ago and and it took a while for it to kind of populate and it's still kind of updating here. Um, uh, so now I purposely left these numbers off just so you can see them being filled in as we as we uh, fill them in so you can see like what goes to what but anyway let's say that we got like a uh, you know these we're gonna get two of these um, let's see we're gonna get like you know six of these and like one entertainment system and let's see, like two bookcases. Let's say we're gonna have like four vanities and let's say two pantries, right? Okay, so um, now that we filled all those in, you can see all the numbers being filled in, right? And um, I mean, you know, if, <laughs> uh, so anyway, so you can see like, here's your cut list, right? So that's pretty convenient so you go to a certain house maybe you're a do-it-yourself or maybe you're maybe you're a contractor or whatever like you um you you do it all the time where you know like what cabinets you need and how many you need and and everything and and you go to a certain project and you kind of do all your measurements and you say okay th these are the cabinets i need you know i need a 24 inch wide base cabinets i need six of them I need, you know, these kind of base cabinets, 24 inch wide, no drawers, two of them. I need six dressers, one entertainment system that's uh, 30 inches uh, wide, bookcase, uh, I need uh, about 84 inch tall bookcases, I need two of them, I need a vanity, uh, vanity base, 36 inch wide, four of those, I need two pantry, uh, 24 inch depth, 20, uh, 24 inch depth and, and 27 inches tall, I need two of those. All right, so you made your selection, right? Maybe this is your, maybe you're, uh, like I said, do it yourself or you're going to, you know, put in the cabinets in your, your own house. Um, and, and, uh, and so you go through and you select everything that you're going to need and how many of them you need and bam, you got yourself a, a complete, uh, a cut list here with all the materials you're gonna have to cut out and 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 you know or put on what you know you got your pocket hole screws and you know you've got your your hinges in here um you've got you know your drawer slides you know 18 inch drawer slides and 20 inch drawer slides um <clears throat> all those things that you need um but yeah you just got a complete cut list here for your cabinets so um I put in this tab here just so you can have a little illustration we went through so you can see what we're talking about um, then some of the parts uh, some of the high-level parts here like sides that kind of show the backs the nailers drawer glides and top rails and uh, top sub rails and drawer uh, the, the rails and the shelf and the door and whenever cabinets get uh, to a certain width generally one door becomes two and you got your toe kick this toe kick just goes right between here from here to here and uh, and the bottom here in the shelf so we've got uh, several things here to help you visualize you got the drawer bottom here you got the drawer back drawer front drawer slides uh, sides um, and then uh, this is uh, then we've got the the part input here so now basically what this means is um, before you can uh, you know put something on this list over here at first like for example, say I want to add something here. You can only add it if it's on this drop-down list, okay? Um, like uh, so, but to get it available in, in this drop-down list, you just come over here to this part list and you say, okay, um, I need a scrubber. I don't, you know, I'm just making this up, okay? Need a scrubber and just go ahead and what you can do if you want, you can just sort this in A to Z alphabetical order here and then come over here and when you select it it's going to just be available in the uh, alphabetical order here so where's that scrubber right here okay so you can select your scrubber there and then you can just put however many you need you need five of those right and then you can say whatever that is okay you can say uh, it's made out of plywood and it's going to be a quarter inch and um you know the width is going to be uh, you know six 
<coughs> and, and, uh, and one eighth, and then you're gonna have eight and by eight and a half, okay? So you just go through and um, just add that in there, and then now that scrubber is gonna show up in your list whenever you select base 12. So if I came down here and I selected base 12, We'll give this just a second here to update. You know, it takes it a second. It takes it several seconds, actually. And we'll say we need uh, one of those. And then, let's see if it's updated yet. Uh, here it comes. All right, and then here's your scrubber, okay? Uh, you've got your scrubber. It's you know, plywood, quarter inch by six uh, and an eighth by eight and a half, okay? And here it is right here in um, uh, metric, if you wanted a metric, all right? And then you said you needed uh, five of those because I guess we said we needed five in the input. Yeah, we said we needed five here. Now, just to show, if we said we need two, then that should turn to 10 whenever we come down here and we look at scrubber again yeah you can see there it is okay now you need 10 of those all right and so yeah you just select all your cabinets and how many you need and then bam it spits out the cut list for your entire project um no more you know trying to bumble around you know with your pencil and paper and you know figuring stuff out and all that and messing around with it and you know you just have a list you print it out and you get to cutting you know and uh so yeah you can just run through say all right i need four doors mdf or plywood you can change that just like i showed you just now you can change that to all these all these things on here you can customize all of this to whatever you need right like uh you know if you have you if you're going to do face uh <clears throat> if you're going to put some frames on, these are all uh frameless uh, these are all built for frameless like if you want to do framed cabinets you can you know customize it you can add those things in there so you know delete things out of here that you don't need um, and uh, just really uh, uh, just customize them for whatever your 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 cabinet is going to look like for a base 12 um, you know, if you're going to put, you know, you're going to use dowels and rabbits and whatever you want to do to, to put on here to, to say what you need for your base 12, right? You, you can do that. And, um, and once it's updated to, to that, then as you saw, you, you can just go and select what you need for that project and put how many you need and it'll update your material list for that so now you can start cutting right so you need a shelf mdf uh, three quarter inch by 22 and three quarter by 25 and uh, three eighths and just uh, you need 10 of those and um, yeah so i'll like i said i'll leave a, a, a link to this um, spreadsheet in the description and let me know what you think